Yes. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I, sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm. I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm going to do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bona fide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Un understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a he's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right. Well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness. So you're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Oh. 
What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. <laughs> That's a design flaw. Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um... They are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number, I want to try it out. Why? Oh, no reason, I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Good burn. Thank you, I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? It's weird, I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. I beefed it. I don't play sports. Huh. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? 
Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't man. disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Okay, these are boring.
Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Nice. Full up.
Hey, so did I tell you? Dude! Right. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the, the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Where should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah, yeah. They're like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. It's all right. Calm down. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. 
Yeah. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view, this view is just... Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, look! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so cute. <laughs> Hold on.
You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Mommy is dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> There's no escape. So, so, I'll grab my. Guess we should head back. 